Very well done. Next category is the community member of the year 2016. I think this is a bit of a up in the air kind of nomination. It's a bit of an interesting one because uh, how do you classify the community member of the year? There's so many absolutely fantastic community members and regardless of who wins i think uh every single one of these people and i've i I am on the list so i am complimenting myself at the same time has done big things and also the people outside of this top four do need to pat themselves on the back before we even go into the winners of this um a big category a big amorphous thing and uh we will go straight in. The first nominee for Community Member of the Year is uh, the man that we have just been talking to multiple <laughs> times, uh, Arlo's own Dova. So he's the director and co-founder for Rocket League Oceania. He founded it alongside Jay Ponage and has been working his ass off since March, so ever since. And he does a lot of stuff in the background. Uh, he doesn't ever go and ask for credit. He just enjoys what he does. And the same with everybody here, enjoys Rocket League so much. He just wants it to be successful for it to grow big in OC. And I think he's done a fantastic job so far. He organized Anzac All-Stars. Again, my favorite tournament that's ever been run. Regardless of online, offline, live, every anything, Anzac All Stars, RLO, A's, B's, and C's, and the Chase. He is the manager of the Prodigy organization, and Beatnik, who is doing production right now, manages his team. He started the weekly report alongside uh, the rest of RLO, and of course organized the OCE Community Awards that we are doing tonight. He has made even all of the uh, the pictures and the production side uh, of this. So fantastic job by him, Dover. He definitely deserves the recognition. Second contender for this award is Nolski, the lead tournament administrator for RLO. And I say that because he won the best event admin uh, previously, so that must be true. Uh, organized, he did tournament organizing for one event. He said he's not a tournament organizer, but he organized the Hype 2v2 Hoops charity event. So on Hype Channel, that was a great fun event. He is the co-host of the ever so fine and fantastic show called The Pinch. The uh, Power Rankings Committee member and admin. Every single week he helps enter the tournament results into the uh, thing so that everybody has a much easier way of digesting the results and turning them into rankings. Co-founder of OCE Freestylers, even though he's not able to freestyle himself. <laughs> so doing a great job. Doesn't need to be able to actually play to to organize so that's good to see and he's the owner founder of the game the gaming organization called phoenix gaming and uh i think despite the fact that they were all the terrible players who couldn't hit a ball uh <laughs> it's great to see somebody uh, you see him blushing right now just coming through and uh individually sponsoring the money came out of nolski's pocket uh the third nominee this one very dear to my heart because it's me it's yummy cheese man <laughs> uh, host of the pinch oc versus the world and also ran my first ever tournament very recently the starbase arc tournament uh, which i think was a great success and lots of people had a lot of fun including myself uh, community leader for rocket league oceania and i've helped organize do tournament organization for the 2017 state of origin so again Keep your eye out for that. I'm excited for it. And you should definitely be too. Member of the Power Rankings Committee, as well as doing Power Rankings Mondays, community casts for CGA, CGM, RLO 2v2, the DB Esports Finals for the 2v2, and Hype when there was uh, no availability for AGTV or GameStar when uh, they couldn't cast. 
That was when Yummy Cheese Man came in, as well as international promotion for OC events, which I've done for RLOC, ESL PAX, the CPC Cup, and Sennheiser, as well as a few other smaller ones. But if there is a big event in OCE that I want people to watch, then people definitely get to hear about that, even if they start getting annoyed. <laughs> and finally, we've been hearing about him all night, and he's he's going to be here all night. B Bears, who founded the OCE Power Rankings, he's the head admin for the ESL ANZ division of Rocket League, and organized the ESL Pax LAN including the qualifiers with four days and the PAX land with two weeks notification did that entire organization a fantastic job he was a pro player for jam gaming at the start of the year uh, a great team at moving from fifth to 15th on the power rankings so that's a big achievement for him as well uh, and also i've got here listed because i wrote up some notes <laughs> that he is an excellent hugger so I think that is important for anyone who is going to be community member of the year. Uh, so that is our four contenders, Dover Nolski, Yami Cheese Man, and B Bears. But the winner, and there can be only one, is of course the one with the biggest beard himself, Nolski. Congratulations, community member of the year. Thanks, Yami, and thanks everybody for voting for me. I don't know why. Uh, because the three before me are much more suited to winning this uh, this category, I suppose. Uh, but um, I suppose you guys recognize <laughs> that I'm freaking everywhere at once uh, around the around the community, and uh, I I thank you for for noticing me. I suppose I don't really know what else to say. <laughs> Again, you spent a year grooming that beard. Very important <laughs> skill. Mm -hmm, congratulations mm -hmm. once again and uh, thank you very much i think it's well deserved I, I have a list here of stuff and it's the kind of thing i had to prune down to find you know a, a small list of things that you're involved in you're involved in almost everything uh, but most importantly you're just there you're there watching everything you're there answering questions you're there helping out and uh i think that really shows but uh Thank you. Again, people people are spamming in chat salt. There is definitely no salt here. <laughs> Nolski is well deserved. There's a reason I asked him to come onto the pinch and co-host along with him. And there's a reason he's here tonight. He is community member of the year for sure. And if you really wanted to know, I was in a not too distant second. So uh, it was a very close race. And thank you very much to vote, everyone who voted for me. And again... For everybody in that category, I think there were like 12 or 13 people nominated from the start, have done fantastic things for the community, and judging them up against each other, it's fine. Like, you, all of them did fantastic things. It's just that Nolski is the most fantastic fantasticest <laughs> of them all. There you go. Thank you, Yummy. Which brings us on to the next category, 